I'm just, I was going to ask you about uh, working with them every day, if you have a particular story you just remember. Well, yeah, there are some of them, but one of them in particular, when, I, when we first moved in, in 1972, um, we had two rooms, empty rooms, and a phone on the floor, and so that's how we started out. And Mr. Gregory was also um, assigned or got the privilege to ask as a, to act as a coach for the na for the USA uh, track and field cha Olympic champ championship, and they could and he went uh, with them to Munich for three weeks or four weeks. I don't recall how long it was, but here it was. He was gone and I was there at home here, <laughs> so it was quite. Um, challenging, you know, but with the time over the years, we built up the whole department, and so it was it was very nice working with Mr. Gregory. Also, Mr. Gregory was also, um, how should I say, he was the first person who initi he initiated the national the NJCAA um, women's national basketball tournament. There was no tournament for the women at all. And he felt like that uh, we should start at something. And um, he sent out uh, a survey, but at that time there were only seven responses because the, the other colleges didn't have women's team. But by 19, I have to go look, by 1975, we had the first uh, tournament. And the, the college itself was kind of graciously to help us out. and. Uh, it was very successful. It was a long haul, and we, but by the end of it, it was really self-supporting, so to speak. And the college was very nice and financially helped us out, and and we hosted it from 1975 to 202, to no, 1975 to 1982, and then it was moved. And uh, Gregory um, retired in 1984. And so we, everything changed then. <laughs> so you must be excited because I know the women's national championships coming here pretty soon. So are you going to attend? Oh yeah, why not? It was really interesting, and people coming from all over the United States, and we were kind of in the middle, and they always admired our campus. They couldn't, especially the, the uh, coaches from the East Coast, they always couldn't believe that we have such a nice campus as a junior college, you know. Or community college, but it it was fun working with it. It was a lot of work at times, but it was a lot of fun too. Is there? You mentioned that first story. Is there like another funny story you might be able to tell? Funny us? story. I know it's on the spot. Uh, no, I can't think of it. It's just every that. day was a good day. Yeah, it was. It, it really was. He was a very nice man, and he was very easy to work with. I wish I could have met him. You make me want to meet him. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was a nice guy. So I want to thank you again for joining me. It was a pleasure interviewing you and learning about Mr. Gregory and everything you've done and do still to this day. Oh, I don't do anything for the college in particular right now. I just like to come in up here. And they gave me the opportunity to do that and work out. So once again, thanks for joining You're me. You're welcome. And if you'd like to check out all our other videos at our YouTube page, at JCCC Athletics, this has been the Cavalier Sports Report, and it was a good one. Thanks for watching.